Hi, I'm Mrs V again, and it's time for another exciting Year 8 chemistry experiment. Today we're looking at density. So this experiment is called the density cubes, and we're going to look at how different materials have different densities. So if we look down here by my balance, we will see the density cubes. Now the density cubes are made of lots of different materials. I'm going to measure the density cube. You can see that the length and the width and the height of the density cubes are two centimetres. So it's important to write that down on your sheet. The length is two centimetres, the width is two centimetres, the height is two centimetres, because we're going to use that to work out the volume. Have you done volume in maths? Volume is length times width times height. So if they're all two, what's two times two times two? That's right, eight. So the volume is eight, but not centimetres, because as well as two times two times two, we had to do centimetres times centimetres times centimetres, and that's centimetres cubed. So it's eight centimetres cubed. All right, what we're going to do now is weigh all of these density cubes. So this first one that I measured is a cube of copper. So let's have a look at the, put it on the balance and see what the cube of copper weighs. 44.9 grams. I think that's on grams, isn't it? Maybe not. Let's check. Now we're on grams. Sorry, 69.9 grams. Write that down on your sheet. Okay, let's do another one. Here we have tin. So putting tin on the balance, 77.4 grams. So the tin is heavier than the copper, even though they're exactly the same size. Why is that? Because tin has a higher density than copper does. All right, let's have a look at another one. This one here is iron. We've actually coated it so it doesn't go all rusty. We've coated it in a little bit of paint. So iron, 61.6 .6 grams. So that's the least dense one that we've tried so far. What about this one? This one's aluminium. Aluminium is what they make aircraft out of. So you can imagine that aluminium is not going to be really dense because we don't want to make planes too heavy or we'll need more fuel. So let's weigh this one. 22.0 grams. So look at that. That's only a third of the density of copper really light for its size. Okay, let's look at the opposite. Let's look at one that's heavy for its size. This is lead. They make fishing sinkers out of lead. Why? Because lead sinks well. Okay, here we go. 93.2. My goodness, that's heavy. Okay, write that one on your sheet. Now, what do we have here? It'd be good to find a marking on this. Yeah, don't know. Oh, this one's bronze. <laughs> that must must be brass. So this one's bronze. Sixty-seven point zero. And I think this one's brass. Can't see it. Oh, maybe it's zinc. Find the ZN on it, miss. I can't, but I think it probably. No, I can't. But we're going to call it zinc. We'll look up later to see if it really was zinc. 61.1 grams. Write that on your sheet. 
Okay, I think we've done them all now. So you should have your table filled in with all the masses and you calculated the volume was 8 centimetres cubed so you can calculate the density because of course density is equal to mass divided by volume. And remember the units of density. If you're dividing grams by centimetres cubed then it's grams per centimetre cubed. Alright, fill in your sheet and I'll see you next time.